and welcome back to Alt Baking Bootcamp, your crash course in healthier baking. I'm Mia Rigdon, nutritionist, trained chef, and the founder of Rasa. I'm Jenny Dorsey. I'm a professional chef, writer, and the founder of Studio Tao. And today we are making a chocolate avocado mousse. We're going to be recreating one of my personal favorite desserts, chocolate mousse. But today's recipe is super healthy, full of nutrition, and takes less than 20 minutes to make. Our chocolate avocado mousse has no dairy, no gluten, no grains, no eggs. You can make this totally nut-free and it's sugar-free, but it's delicious, I promise. I know that sounds like a lot of freeze. So should we try the original? Yes. So nice. they do, they look great. I mean, I'm not a huge chocolate fan, but I do like a chocolate mousse that's really fluffy and mm -hmm. creamy. So not something that feels like it's gonna weigh me down, but something that I can eat like a, a whole bowl of. It definitely has got that rich chocolate flavor and it's, it's not too dense. Mm -hmm. I just feel like we're also using nicer chocolate today, mm -hmm. so I'll have a better chocolatey taste. Okay, so this chocolate mousse has very few ingredients and it's super easy because we just throw everything into the food processor. The only real step here is melting the chocolate. So we're gonna use a double boiler. Which, Jenny, do you wanna explain what that is? Yeah, so a lot of people feel when you hear double boiler, that's really scary. Um, it's really honestly very simple. If you see behind Mia here, all you need is something that's going to hold up over heat, such as a Pyrex container or perhaps a metal bowl. And you're gonna set that over a pot of barely simmering water. The idea here is that you can slowly melt the chocolate in indirect heat so that it's not subject to like the direct heat of you know, the cooking pan or the cooking pot. You're essentially using the steam to melt it down. Chocolate is contained of fats and solids, so you also want to do this without the presence of water or steam because water will cause it to seize. So if you've ever tried to melt chocolate down with like milk or something and seen it clump up, we don't want that to happen here to maintain a nice creamy consistency. So we're just gonna melt this chocolate in the double boiler. All right, so I'm just gonna dump the chocolate in the bowl and allow it to melt. I'll give it a stir. Okay, I think we're good. Well, this is perfectly melted, but if you wanna make things even easier, you can also melt chocolate in the microwave. You just wanna get your little pieces of chocolate, nothing too big, cause it'll take so long to melt that it'll kind of burn and scorch on the outside. So break them into little pieces, put them into a microwave safe container. And then what I usually do is just go in increments of like 15 to 20 seconds. And you'll, you wanna stir in between each round because what you'll see is that it'll melt at the bottom, but not look melted at the top. So now we're just gonna throw all of these ingredients we have here into the food processor. So we'll start with our two avocados. So how do you know an avocado is ripe? Well, everybody has like their own touching method, but I think the easiest way to tell is that if there's a little stem on top of the avocado and you can easily push it off um, and it like moves easily, then you know that that avocado is ready. I love avocados. Not only are they super delicious, we mainly have them in savory foods, but here we're gonna have it in a sweet application. But they're full of monounsaturated fatty acids and they're actually chock full of fiber as well. The fat from the avocado is going to lend creaminess to the dish and the fiber as well helps keep us feel fuller longer and it helps with digestion. So avocado is, in my opinion, one of the healthiest foods you can have. We've got a quarter of a cup of cacao powder, so I'm using raw cacao powder here. This is a really nice way to add a taste of chocolate without using spatula. chocolate. And then we're gonna use the spatula just to get all of that melted chocolate in there. We don't wanna miss a drop of that yummy chocolate. And we're using 70% dark chocolate. We've got organic fair trade. I love using chocolate because the cacao bean is really high in antioxidants and it's super healthy. It's just, as I've mentioned before, it's just what we add to chocolate sometimes that 
can make it not a healthy thing. But here, as you can see, we've got all these wonderful ingredients. We've also got a quarter of a cup of milk. You can use any milk that you'd like. We've got almond milk right here, but if you've got a nut allergy, you could use coconut milk, you could use oat milk, really anything that you like or that you have in the fridge. You could even use a dairy milk if you'd like that. We are also today using a monk fruit sweetener. Monk fruit is about 100 to 200 times sweeter than sugar and it has no calories. It's a great sugar alternative and it doesn't have the chemicals that some other alternative fake sugars might have. So I think that this is a really healthy and safe sweetener that's not gonna spike your blood sugar levels. Of course, if you don't wanna use a monk fruit sweetener, you could use coconut sugar, maple syrup, honey, whatever you'd like, quarter of a cup, throwing that in there. I'm gonna do half of a teaspoon of vanilla extract for extra flavor. And then we're just going to put a little pinch of sea salt and we're gonna blend it up. So you're gonna wanna blend this for a while. And you're gonna wanna scrape down the sides a few times during uh, the process to make sure there aren't any avocado clumps. That will really gives away the avocado in the mousse, but when you puree it really well, you'll have no idea that there's avocado in there. That is looking really good. Mm. I think maybe one more scrape. You don't have to worry about over mixing this, so if you're not totally sure, then you scrape and mix again. I think we're good. What do you think? I think it looks great. Now we're going to actually add the chocolate avocado mousse into a piping bag. This is optional. You do not have to do this. In my house, we just put it in a bowl and we all share it with the spoon, so that works too. Piping is, of course, you've probably seen out of a regular piping bag at restaurants, but this is honestly such an easy thing to do at home. You just need a Ziploc, any sort of plastic container. You want to put everything in and you just cut a small hole at one of the corners, zip it back up, make sure you get all the air out, and then you essentially use it as a piping bag. So the reason that monk fruit um, is sugar-free or calorie-free is that the sweetening power of monk fruit, while the fruit itself also has fructose and glucose, um, there's a particular enzyme in there that makes it feel sweet to us, and they actually extract that out during the drying process. Um, they powder that, and that's what we use as monk fruit sweetener. We perceive it as sweet when we taste it, but it's not absorbed by our stomachs, it's not absorbed by our bodies, and so there's no calories when we actually eat it. And we have a couple of toppings for our chocolate avocado mousse. We have hemp seeds, pepitas, which are pumpkin seeds, and also some cacao nibs for some extra crunch and flavor. And the hemp seeds are full of protein as well, which we love. But you could put some fruit on here. You could do some whipped cream. We've showed our coconut whipped cream recipe a few times on the show that we love. Um, so feel free to get creative. You could also, you know, plaster this on a cookie or... Mm -hmm. Okay, so should we get some toppings and try it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I want some more salt on my anything. Oh, I like a little more salt. I'm into that, yep. And some cacao nibs for some extra chocolate. You want some cacao nibs? Yeah, sure, why not? I love hemp seeds. I really Me feel too. like they're a little underrated. I agree. Full of protein. I love hemp and hemp products. They're really great. I like hemp milk and pepitas, which are pumpkin seeds. So you could pop these in the fridge and this will keep in the fridge for a few days um, or you can just eat it straight away. Shall we try it? Yeah, let's do it. Oh my God, that's mm. so good. It's so good. And you really can't taste the avocado. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just lends that creaminess, but it just tastes really chocolatey. Mm -hmm. And it has a perfect amount of sweetness in my opinion and it doesn't taste like a chemical artificial sweetener, which I hate that taste. I also like that it has a nice bitterness from chocolate mm -hmm. because chocolate isn't just like a sweet flavor. It's a complicated, like it's sweet, bitter, you know what I, I mean? Agree. And it lends some complexity. Yeah. I like that little salt you put on top, that's good. I used to actually make like the classic French chocolate mousse all the time in culinary school and it reminds me of that. It has that same fluffiness, but it doesn't take two hours. I don't know if Julia Child would really approve of this recipe. It's very 
She's a modern woman. I feel like if she lived right now, she would be a modern woman. I think she would be open to trying it. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure you subscribe to Well and Good's YouTube channel below. And if you got lost, don't worry. The recipe is below. And if you have any questions, Jenny and I are monitoring the comments. So please feel free to let us know what worked for you, what didn't work for you. We are here and we love creating original recipes for you guys for All Baking Boot Camp. This is one of my favorites, but if there's anything else you'd like us to create for you, let us know in the comments below. Please keep in touch, send us your thoughts, make sure you send us photos and tag us because we are eager to see what you cook up at home. Okay, bye. Okay, I'm gonna, bye. I'm gonna finish my mousse. Yeah. I've got a good. Sorry guys, you're not getting any of this one. <laughs>